to jail. Gave me a day to say my goodbyes to everyone. That must have been difficult. I ended up in Skyrim thanks to a contact I'd made when I was with the Crescents. Good old Delvin. He introduced me to Gallus, and that was it. I've been here ever since. And you know what? Despite what I left behind, I don't regret it one bit. Know anything about Golden Glow Estate? The honey they collect on that hunk of rock goes into making Blackbriar mead. Just about the best tasting mead in all of Skyrim. Does the guild provide other services? If talking your way out of trouble isn't enough, you could always pick up some training from Delvin, Vex, or Vipper. Also, I recommend hitting the training room if you need lockpick practice. Helped me out of a jam more than once. I'll show you what I know. Just curious how much it is. Holy Christ! Four thousand! Yeah, no thanks. Come find me if you need more marksman training. Alright, so who am I supposed to talk to? Uh, speak to Vex. Need something? Yeah, talk to him already. Vex is the weird looking chick, I think. Be important. I'm quite busy. Ninja, I'm so busy staring at these comic books. Don't you have better things to do than disturb me? Nope. Holy crap! Seven hundred gold. Even though it was still 90%. It's funny, he caught me, but then like, nothing happened. 98% pickpocket. Ninety-nine percent pick or ninety-nine pickpocket. Thanks. You probably should uh, know better than to uh, carry that kind of money around. A bunch of thieves, by the way. Dumbass. Alright, where's Vex? Actually, I want to explore around here a little bit to see if there's anything else worth the borrowing. Ooh, alchemy. Lab. Would be nice if there was an enchanting table. Some uh, daggers that I could take and enchant and sell. Ah, some chests to practice on, if I was so inclined. Some uh, places to get freaking lost in. There we go. Yeah, that's all in here. Wait. Yeah, okay. Vex is in here. And the ragged flagon. But yeah, I still find it amusing, looking back, how much I complained about how slow Pickpocket was to level and how easy it is to level now. Is this the... So, it's one thing to say you've got the skills to be a thief. It's another to actually use them. Can you share anything about the Thieves' Guild? I don't know about the others, but I sure am glad to see a fresh face down here. The flagon used to be packed every night with the boys from the Guild. But now... The last few years have been pretty bad. 
I've almost closed this place up. Yeah, I can't imagine how business could possibly be bad in a tavern in the middle of a sewer. Now that you mention it, there is. I have a buyer with, uh, shall we say, a very odd taste in literature, looking for some particular books. What kind of books? I'm told they're the ravings of a madman, a wizard named Arendil, and his peculiar cravings. It's said to be spread across four volumes, very hard to come by. My client is offering quite a reward for them, which I'd uh, split with you. I'll get them for you. Then we have a deal. In his later years, Arundel moved into some ice caves known as Ingvin. He preferred the solitude in which to perform his uh, experiments. Do you know anything about Arundel? Only rumors. He used to have a home in Dawnstar until they burned it down. Hmm. The people say he was doing unspeakable experiments on reanimation. Rituals only a necromancer would perform. After he made for Ingvil, he was never heard from again. Dun dun dun. How can he be certain the journals exist? Recently, a woman was found, naked and shivering along the road to Dawnstar. The only information the guard could get from her were tales of strange experiments and Arundel scribbling in his journals. What have you got for sale? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Hmm. I don't think this is the fence. God, I hope not. Not with only a hundred gold. That would be balls. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of the guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Man, there is some serious sexual tension right now. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator. Pretty sure we went through this. You follow my lead, then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. What sort of business? I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. So what can we do? We can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Is this unusual gem worth anything? This is probably the unusual gems we've been finding. It's been a while since I've seen one of those. What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Is it worth anything? Not like that it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. How many of these are there? I think there were 24 in all. Good lord. Most people keep them as a curiosity. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, until now. You sure you won't buy it? Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. Tell you what, if you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. <laughs> Damn it, three of twenty-four, fantastic. I heard you're offering extra work. I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking and entering. Hell yeah. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up close and personal jobs. Tell me about the burglary jobs. Pretty simple. Break into a house, grab a specific item, and get out before they realize what's going on. The catch is you can't kill anyone who lives there, or you forfeit the payment. Boo. You ready for some good old-fashioned burglary? Sure. All right. Take this and get out of here. 
So you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get Do you know anything well. worth talking about? Uh, let's see. Heard you ran into trouble at Golden Glow. Hm. Yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit is a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Any tips to get me in there? Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. How will doing extra jobs help the guild? Are you kidding me? Ever since the guild's luck turned sour, we haven't had a coin to our name. And when the coin dried up, that's when people started to leave. We had the best of everything down here. The Ratway was a damn palace. The only way this place will ever return to its glory days is if we can finish these extra jobs and start the gold flowing again. What were the glory days like? The Flagon was once a city beneath the city. We had our own smith, our own alchemist, you name it. If we can make a name for ourselves in the Skyrim once again, I can almost promise you those merchants would return. Best of all, we'd have enough gold to throw around so we could start living in the lap of luxury again. Does the guild provide other services? If you're ever in need of some quick coin for items you find on the job, Tanelia is the best fence around. Tanelia. And besides myself, Delvin, Niruin, and Vipper can help you with any sort of training you might need to sharpen your skills. Hmm. So, I'm guessing if you do these extra jobs, maybe they build up in here, like they get a smithy, an alchemist, all that. That'd be neat. If you want to get paid, keep your weapon sheathed. <laughs> that's what she said. So you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are going to have to get very well acquainted. Chicka chicka bow wow! I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Is there anything you don't charge for? Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look. I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Understood. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Sweet. What do you give me for these? I give special rates to members of the Thieves Guild. Show me what you've got. Haha, <laughs> oh yeah. Alright, what does she have? There was a blaze axe. Lockpicks. Alright, eh, she doesn't have much gold, of course. Sort by weight, even though that doesn't really work that well. Unfortunately, ooh, these good armor increases uh, carrying capacity. Oh, damn it, increases prices. It's actually not that good. Uh, the use guilt armor, 41. Um, increased carry capacity is nice. Pickpocket says 15% better, but I'm already pretty much maxed on everything. Price is 10% better, that's nice. Sure, these guild boots, gloves, lock picking is fifteen percent easier. How is boots giving me pickpocket success? Yeah, that must make much sense. All right. Anyway, 
Well, you could always speak to Delvin or Vex if you're looking for extra work. Or if you're looking for training, we've got plenty of it down here. Delvin, Vex, Nerowin, and Vipper can give you a leg up on that. Alright then. Alright. Let us make with doing the loud and clear quest. All eyes are on you, lass. But how are we on encumbrance? Actually, we're doing all right. Read your flight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street. Dropped you into the I might could actually drop some of this crap off too in one of these chests and just hope that it doesn't uh hope that it doesn't go away. Pickaxe, Imperial Bow. Ah, god damn it. Always, I swear to God, I'll finish playing this game and still we'll do that wrong. Alright, apparel. I was hoping to get below 200. What's crazy is a lot of my weight is coming from these damn potions. It doesn't seem like it's a lot, but when you've got all these potions that are 0 .5, 0 .5, 0 0.5, they add up. A lot of stuff from ingredients, too. That's another reason I need to work on my alchemy, just to clean up the ingredients, but that should be enough. Yeah, Speechcraft, the other reason it's so slow is the vendors don't have enough damn money. And you can't get the talent to get to give the vendors money because the skill goes up so slow. It's like a chicken and egg problem. I'm going to try putting this sneak ring on. Let's see if that makes my sneaking a little bit better. Staff of reanimation. Damn. Even that's only 48% to steal. Eh. We're just, I'm sneaking on purpose just to get work on my stealth. It needs to be worked on. Especially now that I'm going solo. And it helps if you're naked. Because everybody likes hiding from a naked person. Fiddling with any locks around here, we're going to have a real problem. Please, it's rifted. What are you talking about? Alright, how far away is this place? Oh, it's like right there. Sweet.
Dude, my stealth sucks. Come on. Let's go to favorites. Gonna put all of that stuff on my favorites. I wish you could assign item sets so that I could say, okay, I want to assign item set to one, like a name it, so I could say, okay, put on this item set, and I just switch to it. That would be very nice. Wait, I don't have my ring of sneaking on. What the hell? I must have took it off for some dumb, de dumb reason. What the hell is that? Is that what I think it is? Yep. Show is. Also, I noticed, too, just real quick, under active effects, it shows you all your fortifies, all your um, um, item effects, and what items are giving it to you, so... Well, theoretically, it does. So I've got my... I've got my, uh, just making sure I got my stuff on, because I think we're about to have a dragon fight here. Where's my other... I've got my ring on. I need to be having my... other ring on. What the hell? Where's my... Uh... Oh, I call it a tweaker's circle. There he is. Damn it. That's not what I meant. One of these days. Hello. Oh, hit him. How you like that shit, bitch? Oh, damn, that actually missed. Ooh, got him. Moving pretty fast. This is a weak dragon. Hit him in the face with an arrow. What the hell? Why did I miss that quest? Ooh, critical strike. You like that shit? Damn. You like that damage? Damn it. Fucking mouse sensitivity. Yeah, what now? I'd say that uh, damage was a little bit. Why did I fail that quest? Exactly. What quest was that? Son of a bitch. I have to look. Damn it, now I need to look. Hold on a second. Yeah, so apparently I missed... I watched a video... And it was something about speak to Sapphire about Jeter's debt. And uh, I noticed that uh, <laughs> the person screaming. I'm going to leave those on the body and just hope that they're there when I come back. Uh, 
was over here, and I think they got roasted. Because they were like, oh, I'm out of here, blah, blah, blah. And then you hear, oh, and then they died. Or at least I'm assuming they died. I have no idea what that quest was, though. I hope it wasn't unimportant. Yeah, speak to Sapphire about Sapphire's debt. Damn it, I need to get the Sense Dead spell because you can apparently sense corpses with that. It was in this general area. But yeah, oh my god, that dragon went down so fast. Which, granted, again, that was just a regular dragon, but holy crap. Looking for body. The dragon must have been here. Well, it obviously wasn't a major quest because it killed. Now, but it's bugging me because I can't figure out which quest it is. It's going to drive me insane. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, there's Shatter. Well, yeah. Well, whoever he was, looks like he was running the uh, stables there. Oh, well. Rest in peace, buddy. Rest in peace. Apparently the dragon thought uh, the horse... <laughs> the horse trainer was more important than the guy shooting arrows. All right, let's find the sewer entrance. Ooh, mountain flowers, hell yeah. Excuse me, had to cough. I'm gonna guess it's in the water. That's why they were giving me all these mount water breathing potions. Maybe. Ah, <laughs> uh, sewers is around the back. A lot of gourds around here. Okay, here's some wolves. Ring is sneaking on. Still detect. On the dark, boys. Sneak attacks are a good way of getting up uh, sneak damage, by the way, or sneak skill. Oh! <laughs> 
Yeah, they're starting to scale the all the damage up. I don't think he had a very good weapon. If I'd have known these guys were supposed to be bandits, I'd have just killed them to start with. distance between me and them now. That's what I should have did before. I didn't realize they were all going to pile out. Let's try to go back around them. So trying to keep it... Oh, there they come. 